I'm not sure. What's the best thing we can do today? Hmm. How about we go to the beach? Nah, that's not the best thing we can do today. What's hmm. the best thing? How about if we play tennis? Tennis? That's not the best thing. Come on, Chris. You can do better than that. How about, how about Legos? I know you love Legos, but that's not the best thing we can do today. Because the best thing we can do today is to follow Jesus. All the activities Chris mentioned are fine. There's nothing wrong with them. However, following Jesus is the best thing we can do. We need to spend time with Jesus first, every day. We need to put him in first place in our hearts and in our lives. We get so busy and so caught up doing so many different things, games and friends and playing sports, that a lot of times we get distracted from following Jesus. So today we're here to remind you that following Jesus is the best thing you can do. In today's story, we're going to hear about two people. One was very distracted, focused on all sorts of other things besides Jesus. The other one put Jesus first. She was really focused on Jesus and she was really concentrating and listening to everything he had to say. When we go through the story today, think about which of the people is most similar to you. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. So in today's story, we met two people. We met Martha and Mary, and they were sisters, but they were very different, and they each had a different focus. So which one are you most like? And it doesn't matter if you're a boy out there who is listening. Um, what we're talking about here today is, are you the kind of person who puts Jesus first in your life? Do you spend time concentrating on him, listening to him? Or are you most easily distracted by all the things that you have to do in your life? Oh, school and chores and sports and all the things we talked about earlier today. God wants us to be more like Mary. Clearly, Jesus' response indicates to us he wants us to be more like Mary. We must put Jesus first because following Jesus is the best thing we can do. The Bible says this, Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Philippians 3.8 So what will you do this week to ensure that you have time with Jesus? Will you turn off the TV for a little while? Yes, will you shut off the video games for a little while? Will you go alone in a room, your bedroom, the bathroom for a little while? spend time with Jesus. I encourage you to do so. I encourage you to do this every day. Put Jesus first in your life because following Jesus is the best thing we can do. Remember, God loves you and so do I.